Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is Game God Fluent, bringing you episode 72 of Let's Play a Vernum Escape from the Pit. Last episode, we explored a bandit lair and cleared that out. That was fun. Now we're in Darmon, um, or Darman, however you want to pronounce it. We have to talk to the mayor, I think, uh, about reward for this job of investigating the bandits, Mayor DeBry. Mayor DeBry leans back in his chair and puts his feet up on his desk. Things are quiet in Darman of late. I suggest you do not change that. I found proof that Mina of Spire has been leading the bandits. The mayor shakes his head angrily. I knew it. Mina, she has turned Spire into a spawning pit for all manner of scum and villains, and now she is expanding her criminal empire. Thank you for this information. We will have to deal with her. You stand around waiting for some sort of reward. Debray looks up at you. You have done a great service for Avernum. I'm sure you feel very proud of your efforts, and it looks like that will be your only reward. Is there anything else I can do for you? I must say, you have slightly increased my faith in adventurers. However, right now, we don't need more assistance, no. Not doing much work, eh? I try to keep out of the way, mainly. The people of Darmon are an independent lot, and they wouldn't let me be mayor if I kept bothering them. So I mainly do paperwork and deal with the council. Okay, so we got some XP. Um, if we check this out, guys, we have to sell, but um, we are amazingly famous. 32. And we have some skills here. Um, very cool. Wait a minute. Oh. Why does she only have a one in mass healing? Oh, I guess she has to learn it yet to get the two. Okay. Don't scare me like that. I thought maybe she didn't read the book or something when we found it. Uh, all right. Let's head somewhere to sell. And make a bunch of money. Go up here to Clive. Do business with him. All right. We've got a lot to sell. Uh, I guess we're hanging on to those. Wow. We are going to have a lot of money after this. Those rat skin helmets are worth 60 a piece. A sniper's vest. Thought we had more, though. One of Kronos. But what we have is plenty. Uh, broken bit of husk. I don't know what that is. Let's continue selling. Alright, we're up to 37.56 again after dipping down a bit. Um, okay. Actually, let's go ahead and give that piece of alchemical equipment to Alduis so he has no inventory space. Very good. All right. Now, our next order of business is to probably... Uh, go do more in do more intel gathering in a. Oh, let's see. You chasing me, bro? They are. For some reason, game is running slowly. Try a bandit keep next? I don't know. <laughs> a 
be a band. It'll be something in the abyssal ca uh, chasm, I think. Short sword worth 100, a healing potion, chain mill vest worth 120, and run short sword worth 100. Very nice. Um, let's see, we have 3,000 gold. Uh, let's just. Come up here and start exploring the abyssal chasm. there's anything particularly to do right now. Uh, so let's just head up. There's a bandit keep we could get involved in up here, which we may do. All right, let's explore. Bandit keep seems to be over here somewhere. Yep. Looks like we've... Oh, it's another ruined bandit lair. Huh, do we have a quest here? Oh, it's the bandit keep, okay. Uh, sure. The last one we did of this, just last episode or whatever, was very successful, so let's... do another. You stand at the entrance of a ruin. Perhaps it was a barracks or small settlement or maybe a bandit lair. Unfortunately for its former occupants, it was recently attacked. The walls have been blasted and in some cases shattered by spells. Charred bodies are scattered in the ruin. The smell of smoke and sulfur is still strong in the air. Submission fungus. Oh boy. Oh, a gazer. Hello. A little fire for you. Uh. Dang. shield on the ground but some bodies here to find robe chain mail and crude dagger which we'll hold on to for now a crude longbow leather pants pretty cheap stuff but okay to hold on to for now seven coins Head in. Ah, missed. Aldous is hurting from the lancing fungus. There we go. Scroll of 
acid shower. Um, among the charred papers on these shelves, you find a few scraps of somebody's notes and diary. This was indeed a bandit lair responsible for vicious raids all over the Great Cave Abyss Road. Now the bandits are all dead, killed by eye beasts. You can't feel too bad about it. Um, fine cloak, leather pants, and an iron dagger. All right, uh, let's go ahead and cast mass healing. Head up this way. Other armors. 60 gold, a bolt of cloth, and a piercing crystal, which we don't really need too much anymore. <clears throat> Ooh, bronze shield. Oh, bronze shield. One of the Inferno. Fire blast. Nice. And bronze bracers. Only one blast of it, though. In the desk, we've got a 95 gold. Over 4,000 coins again already. Uh, let's go this way. We've got an eye beast. Tries to stun us. We've got two eye beasts, and we're properly stunned. Let's go ahead and haste. Wow. Okay. Um. Oops. Battle frenzy. Dang. And you're not battle frenzied. Dab on him. <laughs> Yeah, that's a tough one. But I have an idea of how to handle it. Just go right here. Um, you come right here and... Do that. Oh, Battle Frenzy. Okay. Um, let's lure them back here. Ah, uh, dang, I should have. Yeah, we should probably put up a ward. Come back down here. Six. Go ahead and haste everybody. You come down here. Come in here. Ah, lightning. They're not following us. There we go. Okay. Dang. Um. Haste up again. One IB set a time, maybe. Dang. Dab on him. Missed. Dab on critical. Little icy rain. Missed. Shoot. You go ahead and drink a healing potion and shoot. Hmm. 
Tang. Battle Frenzy. Uh, dang, they do lightning too. Um, it's probably gonna lose here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Try a different strategy for that. Actually, I don't know if maybe, first of all, let's go ahead and get a cloak and a ward up. Um, do we want to fight this battle just yet? right now I think she could use a healing elixir which barely heals anything and then you can heal her and I don't know battle frenzy here's where we're toast Actually, step back, come back down here. Uh, heal. Heal. Let them come down to us. tough of a fight, so we're just not going to fight it. We'll have to come back here. Well, let's head up here. Alright, a bronze short sword. Why are you carrying a bolt of cloth? Cloth, crystals, ooh, bar, meal, nice stash of supplies, uh, more meal, and a healing elixir, beautiful, uh, let's come down here, gazers, okay, Should be able to handle them. These are not eye beasts. These are mini eye beasts, I guess. And a pustulant rat. Oh, days. Battle frenzy. Yikes. Let's get a icy rain going. Hmm. 
Alright, uh... I see right on you, missed. Dang. That was a good hit. Um, healing potion. Wow, this might be too bad for us. Dang, double lightnings. Uh, icy rain. Come on, die. There we go. Not too worried now. These are pustulant rats, though. Croft. There we go. Nice. Tough stuff. A an armor elixir. Shield chance, spine shield, regen. Give one to McCroft. Silver. Crude short sword. Leather pants. Not the greatest of treasure thus far. Whoops. But I'm sure it'll pick up as we go here. Uh, come down here, I guess. Huh. A shroom. All this out here for no real gain. Except a mushroom on the ground. Some mushrooms over there. Alright. Look this way. Brain rats. Dack on them. Dab on them. I see rain on them. G on them. Nice cleave. Level up from a croft. going down. Alright. Let's head on down. There's a band of human brigands hiding in this cavern. They are filthy and hungry. They've been trapped down here for days at least, penned in between a cave-in behind them and the gazers ahead of them. Their leader turns away from the fire to face you. You immediately recognize each other. It is Lagrin, the ambitious thug who assaulted you just after you arrived in Avernum. He snarls, You! Is there nowhere I can go? Will I ever be free of your pestering? You seem to be trapped down here. Just another in an endless series of setbacks. We won't give up, though. After you are dead, we will escape from here and start our new bandit empire. 
Long time no see. How have you been doing? We have experienced ceaseless frustration. We have been traveling back and forth across the Vernon for months, looking for a place to settle. Everyone drives us out. There is no place for an industrious rogue. Where did you go? We went to the wilds of northern Avernum until that cretin kiosk drove us away. We went to the abyss, but the criminal bands there are far too established to leave room for us. The far west is full of monsters. Avernum is not the paradise for brigands I had hoped it would be when I arrived here. Why did you come to these caves? Because the great cave Abyss Road is one of the few areas left in Avernum where an ambitious brigand can build a strong gang. Alas, monsters occupied this ruin before we did. And now I've found you again. Yes, it is one of the few strokes of good fortune we have had. Good fortune? You have a good, had had a good run down here. I can see it from looking at you. Once we've taken your equipment and sold it, we can use the money to hire mercenaries. Then we can return here and establish a bandit empire that will last for centuries. Can't you just, like, start a farm or something? Nonsense. Brigand Empire. That is the only reason I allowed the Empire to send me down here. To find the greatness I was destined for. So your plan involves defeating me and taking all my stuff? Of course. You defeated me once, but now I have had time to prepare. I've learned all your tricks. There is no way you could possibly defeat me again. Why don't you just leave? There is no way you can defeat me. The brigands rise and draw their weapons. As usual, they are declining their, your generous offer for their survival. Logren says, You defeated my plans once. You will not survive to ever do it again. <clears throat> okay, there's Logren. Logren's thug. Incanter Reese. Uh, let's go ahead and try to get that person out first. Um, Marion can come up here and attack Logren, I guess. You can come up here and attack Logren. Cultist, too. Named ones. Alright, let's put a G on. You guys? Nice. Uh... Perfect, actually. Um, Log and Stun. Ouch. Dang, they're doing a number on Aldous. Um, I have to cast a, a uh, something or other here. How about an acid shower? And an attack. No. Heal. Dang. general area. Working on that encanter. Critical. Wow, he's got a lot of HP. Uh, let's just fight here. I need a battle crystal or something. I should have used one. Uh, 
I'm gonna use a speed potion and then go ahead and mass heal. You attack. Shield chant, dang. Uh, G on YouTube, oh no. Um, Dak on us. Wow. They have a lot of resistance. And she's healing. Um, let's take a step in and haste up. See how that goes. Did not get Battle Frenzy though, unfortunately. She's essentially got Battle Frenzy. But it's just taking forever to try to uh, do this. How about a Battle Crystal? And attack. Nice. Um. Step out one and. The minor summon going. Uh, attack and then. Step up. Oh, you can't step. Immobile. Mass heal. Missed him. Um, Croft. Heal. G on those two. Okay, we're starting to make some progress. Nice. Level up. Ah. Uh, Head in, drink a potion. You going day on him. Oh, dad. <laughs> okay, um, battle frenzy. There we go. Now they're in trouble. Um, we're not doing quite the damage and stuff that I'd like, though. Not even icy rain and such. But maybe we'll improve with this next level up. Nice. Go dead on him again. Go dab on him. Nice. Oh, the shade's gonna be immune. How about a little fire? No, can't. I'll try to kill the cultist, and we do so. Level up. Poor Logren. I could have cast a spell, but it's pretty much in for the kill here. Dab on him. Or Mab on him, actually. That was Mage spell. So once that battle frenzy happened, it really opened things up for us. Um, a little mass healing. 
The brigand dodges your attack, takes a step back, and drinks a potion. Ha! He shouts. A potion! You did not expect this, did you? You see? I came to this battle fully prepared. Wow. Spine shield and battle frenzy. Mab on him. I could re-haste, but that's okay. Uh... Tab on him. Tab on him. Okay, we've all leveled up, but... Man. This guy takes a beating. And he delivers one, too. I should re-haste, but... Oh, well, it's pretty much over now. There we go. Lagrin falls to the ground, mortally wounded. You can barely hear his final words. Next time. Next time I will defeat. I know your weakness now. I... I... Optimistic to the last. And stupid. Also very stupid. <laughs> Love it. All right, guys. There's a boss battle. Wine, 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 wine. Um... Wow, let's come around and look. We've got a platinum ring. We've got a radiant belt, armor plus 8%. That's all it does. Bronze broadsword, some meat. Uh, let's check the radiant belt. Well, let's look around first. Uh, mushrooms, mushies. And a box with blankets and pillows, steel javelins, and an energy elixir. A fine robe, a curing elixir. Let's F3 and come back up this way. Back here and got a magical notes. Mm. And it looks like that's about it. I don't see any buttons. Nothing that will lead me to believe there's anything up else up here. But that and some rocks. Alright, so that is Logren and the bandits of trying to restore this bandit keep. Alrighty. Well, we did everything except that optional eye beast battle. Let's head back to hmm, uh, Ward Allison of the Spire Fortress. B bring to Allison for a bounty. Spire Fortress is north of us, so we'll just have to tuck that in our back pocket. Let's save and see how long we've been playing. 39 minutes. I'm going to wrap it up here and say thank you guys for joining me. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of exploration and combat and looting and all this good stuff. Um, I'll see you guys next time with more. Feel free to tune on in for more because there's a lot more to come. We have to start exploring this abyssal chasm, and there's going to be a lot of fun had from that, so hope you'll join me. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. Much love, peace, and joy. Excuse me. Take care, and uh, see you guys next time with more. Bye-bye.